After a relatively good experience with the Gigabyte XM300, I was really looking forward to trying the new mouse, the Oris M3. Unfortunately, it's actually a big step back. This is going to be a faster review than usual, because it's not yet ready for the full review treatment. Let me sum this up for you. If the XM300 is like the Death Adder, the M3 is like the G403. Basically the same kind of dimensions and shape. The shape is actually quite good. I like the comfort grips, but the rubber side grips aren't very nice to hold. The cable feels like it's bad quality, but it's not too bad. Dry, not very smooth, not very flexible. The feet feel good, no issue there. The sensor is a 3988, which is great, except it can be made to spin out using the tilt slam test, because it has a lift-off distance of over 2 DVDs, and that can't be adjusted. Tracking and all that is fine, it's still a top sensor, as shown in this line test. All looks pretty good. The buttons feel quite good, but the scroll is still loose. And the buttons seem to have a 20 to 30 millisecond delay over other mice. Even the XM300 is 30 milliseconds faster than the Aorus. Also, when doing the bump test, it left marks on the G703. For most people that come to my channel, it's still a bit heavy at 104 grams, and when tapping and shaking it, well, listen. These are issues that need to be fixed before any kind of recommendation. Also, the software is really hard to use. I can barely read what it says, but you can adjust the DPI, I think, and the colors and all that too. So to conclude, it feels pretty good, performs well in most ways, and it had some decent games with it. But the build quality, the cable, the button latency, the high liftoff distance and tilt slam, the software and the weight, all make it really hard for me to recommend this mouse, especially when there are cheaper, better options out there. Honestly, I would rather recommend the Gigabyte XM300 instead, and that's a fairly old mouse now. It also had some build quality concerns. I managed to get a good one, but many others didn't. So if you really want a Gigabyte mouse, I still really like the XM300. This latest one, unfortunately, it's not ready for a recommendation from me yet. It does have a good shape though, so if they can address all of the concerns I've mentioned, this could be a great cheaper alternative to the Logitech G403. Hope that helps for now. Special thanks to Gigabyte for sending this out for a review. And if you want to help support the channel, I'll leave the usual links in the description. Subscribe, like and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next.